Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is AI behavior tree decorator the compare blackboard entries node. I have fired up a quick little example here. We're going to cover the node and see how it works. So here's our blackboard entries node. It is a decorator, so you can add it either to a task or a composite. And it's simple, add decorator, compare BB entries. So by default, we're going to come up with these for our settings. You're going to absorb, you're going to abort nothing, and you have no values for your key. Now, like all the other Blackboard nodes, when you first pull them up, it's going to default their Blackboard entries to whatever your first key is going to be for a valid entry. So make sure you change these to whatever you actually want to observe. So for example, what we're going to do is we're going to see if the player is equal to the... We have a player object key and an AI enemy key. Using this service here, I'm going to alternate between what the values are. And we're going to use the compare blackboard entry node to compare them and then do something. So let's set our player for our first key and AI enemy as our second key. And this is a pretty simple equal to or not equal to node. By default, it's set to equal to, but of course you can change it to is not equal to. We're going to set our observer up to abort nothing because that's our default. And let's go ahead and run through our example and watch our node values. When we start, our player is set to generic character and our AI enemy was set to none. Then the player changes to none after five seconds. And then our AI enemy after another five seconds or 10 seconds total will change to the AI character's value. So our compare blackboard entry will compare and only allow the sequence to run if our values are equal. Let's set this to abort self so we can actually watch it in real time. So when we run this, what you're going to see is me not hitting the play button. We're going to see in the beginning, it ran very quickly because our values were both set to none. Then it stopped because our player was set to the player. Now that they're both back to none, it was running. And now that it's back to AI enemy, it's set to fail again. So let's go ahead and watch that again so you can watch it happen assuming I can hit the stop key. We have the same value as none, it ran. We have different values, it stopped running. We have the same values again as none. And then we have the different values again as none and generic AI character. And if of course we were to flip this and say is not equal to, we're gonna get the opposite result. We're gonna watch it succeed because the values don't match fail because the values match and then succeed again when the values don't match. So it's pretty simple. It's a simple equal or not equal node. Make sure you have two valid values. Keep in mind this is going to be an exact comparison. You're not going to be able to, for example, I have a bool value here and I set this to is player equal to true bool and I run it. Actually we'd want yep, is equal to okay and run it, it's gonna fail. Because true bool is a Boolean value and its value is different than whatever's held currently in my player and my enemy. So keep that in mind. Now if you wanted to use, if I can go back to it, this to compare if two things are equal to or are not equal to based on true and false, then you could set two different true and false bools obviously. You could have a player bool and an enemy bool and Due to other conditional checks, maybe if you want them both to be valid targets, then you would set the true bool to true and the not true bool, player bool to true and the enemy bool to true. Then they'll both be true when you're doing a comparison and then you can do your check. So that's it. That's all the compare blackboard entries note is for. It's to compare if blackboard entries are the same value. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.